Hold on, you made a clip. Go ahead. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 55, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. All right, so all those curses are going to come upon us and pursue us. So it doesn't matter how much you try to blend in with the society and be like the so-called white man, these curses are still going to follow behind you. I don't care where you try to go. Because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are going to still continue to be cursed until the Most High lifts that curse off of us. Right. All right? One more. Go ahead. Therefore, verse 48, Therefore, thou shalt serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. In hunger and in thirst and in shame. Yep, and that's without the scriptures as well, too. That's what, yeah, that's physical, without the scriptures. Physical and spiritual. Good. Because what did it say? A little couple of verses before that, it said, I shall smite thee with madness. Yep. All right? And in what of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. All right, so if you type in yoke of iron in Google, you're going to see a bunch of images of so-called African Americans with yokes of iron around their neck. And that physically happened. And another yoke was a spiritual yoke. All right, by this truth, this word being taken away from us. By us thinking that a so-called white man is our savior when the Bible describes him totally different. By not calling upon a true name. By not turning back to our creator for help. Right. Yeah. And they have a, and they have a contractual yoke too. Huh. The uh, social security number. Huh. They still they still got their yoke of slavery upon you. All right, and then all right, which that social security number ties you to your straw man. Right. So now they're gonna make you the actual straw man by the RFID chip in the blockchain system, which is the mark of the beast. Right. The ones the ones that still wanna be Esau's property. Huh. The ones that still wanna be of their father, the yeah. devil. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I got it. This is second chapter, chapter six, verse seven. Wind passes out and says, "What shall be the parting asunder of the time? Or when shall be the end of the first, or the beginning of it that follow it?" All right. So a lot of people ask, like what Ezra was asking, "When is the end of the world?" All right. When is when is the Most High going to restore the kingdom unto the Israelites, who are the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? All right. Verse eight. Verse eight. And he said unto me. Now we just established that the earth was given unto the hand of the wicked, and we understand we established that the wicked is Esau, and it's, that's his biblical name. But his name today is are the Caucasian race. All right. Verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, uh -huh. when Jacob and Esau were born, uh -huh. of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. Okay, so you had two babies, Jacob and um, Esau, in the womb of Rebekah, and they were struggling in the womb, meaning they were fighting in the womb. So Esau came out first, but Jacob's hand grabbed the hill of Esau. What does that mean? That means there's gonna be that's the transition in the power seat. All right. Verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, uh -huh. and Jacob is the, the beginning of it that follows. All right. So Esau is the end of an eon, end of a time, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Meaning the so-called white man in this society that he built off of wickedness is gonna be destroyed by the hands of the children of Israel and the Most High Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai and the holy angels. And then they're going to set up a righteous kingdom, the kingdom of Yahweh Shai and the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That was it? This is Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So she went into a choir of the Lord's like, why am I struggling in my, my womb? Why, what's going on? Right? The children, the children were fighting in the womb. And she went to inquire of the Lord, Yahweh. And the Lord, Yahweh, said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. The two nations are in her belly. All right? And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. Two manner of people, the righteous and the wicked. All right? 
And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Well, we all know who the stronger is. Jacob's stronger than Esau. I mean, you wouldn't even have a world. You wouldn't have any styles. The, the Israelites are the salt of the earth. All right? We rule sports. We invented them to everything. All right? Refrigeration, open heart surgery, brain surgery. We did all these things. But what, we weren't given the credit for it. And the elder shall serve the younger. But the elder shall serve the younger. Esau is our elder. Right? However, when that time period, when their rulership ends, they're going to have to bring servitude unto us, just like we had to bring servitude unto them. All right? Verse 25. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So the first one came out red. What does that mean? There's not a white person that walked this earth. This sign is white. Right? He came out red. When you see a Caucasian baby come out of the womb, it's crying. What does it look like? It looks red. All right? Their skin is transparent, translucent. You can see the blood through their skin. All right? You, you, you see it. When they blush, they turn red. All right? And they call his name Esau. Esau means wasted away. All right? But it was three well, earlier. He created the waster to destroy. All right? And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So Jacob came and grabbed the heel of Esau. And we just read that, that that was a transition for the, the fall of Babylon and the, um, and, and New Jerusalem yep. being risen up. And just, just for clarification, we're not teaching that the waster is Esau. You know, he's their abomination of desolation. Come on. You know, there's so many idiots out there. Come on. I, I understand. Come on. Come on. That was it. And his name was called Jacob. All right. All right, go ahead. I got some more This is Daniel, chapter 7, verse 13. And I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Mm. All right, so coming with the clouds of heaven, you have certain things that Nassau and the government calls UFOs. But what those are, the chariots of the Most High, all right? There's been a lot of activity with them lately, all right? Because the Most, the, the, the most High Son, Yahweh Shai, is on his return, all right? That's why you have your President Trump building that space force. They know what time it is. They know that the Most High sending his son to redeem his people, all right? I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man uh. came with the clouds of heaven. Uh and came to the Ancient of Days, uh -huh. and they brought him near before him. And the Ancient of Days is the Most High. The so-called black man. All right, so-called black man, because he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And what is this, what is this description in Revelation chapter 1 and 14? I got it. All right. Yeah, this is Revelation, chapter 1, I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment, down to the foot, very about with the pants with a golden girdle. So our Lord wore a garment like how we're wearing. That's, by, by the way, that's the description of the ones that they ignorantly call Christ. All right, his name is Yahweh Shai, all right? His head and his hands were white like wool. His head... His hair was white like wool, so meaning his beard was white and his head was white, all right? Shining with the glory, all right? And his eyes were as the flame of fire. All right, his eyes were like the flame of fire. I right, see our eyes were red up here, all right? So it's a custom after the age of 12 for the Israelites to drink wine, all right? And he was known as a wine bibber, all right? Now, 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 and also they said his hair was wooly. This, this is wooly. This is woolly. My, I usually have more hair than this. This is woolly. All right? But, but this image that we see of Christ, that when you type in Christ in Google, it's stringy, like goat hair. That's not sheep's hair. That's not wool. All right? It says, His feet, like unto fine brass, as if they was burnt in a furnace. For fine brass, brass is already brown, but as if it had been burnt in a furnace. All right, so that's real dark, dark, dark. Now that's the image of our Lord. This other uh, white guy, I, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Actually, that's the devil. Uh, Daniel, chapter seven, verse thirteen. And I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man 
came with the clouds of heaven and came to the Ancient of Days. And they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. And so that's setting up a kingdom for the children of Israel, for children like that right there. Which shall not pass away in his kingdom. Right. So that's an everlasting kingdom forever, man. Yeah. That's what's being set up right now. So all wickedness is going to be pe is going to perish. All right. So-called white men is going to go into slavery for a thousand years, and after those thousand years are up, we're going to hunt them out of every crevice and crack and rock and destroy them. Verse 17. These great beasts, which are four, are four kings. Son, you know them. All right. The four kingdoms. You got Babylon. All right, you got the Persians and the Medes, you have Greece, and you have Rome. Okay. These great beasts, which are four kings, which shall rise out of the earth. Okay. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. That word, that's a beautiful word, take. Just like how everything was taken from us. Yep. All right, the Most High said so he's going to take, we're going to take, we're going to be that battle axe for the Most High, man. Yeah, but he's going to grab Esau's heel. All right, so, so that's Jacob grabbing Esau's heel. Yep. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. So when the Most High sets us back up, we're never going to fall again. Why? Because we're never going to sin again. We're never going to go off. All right? All right, go ahead. This is Proverbs chapter 29, and I'm going to start at verse 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. All right? Keep going. But when the wicked bear rules, the people mourn. But when the wicked bear rules, the people mourn. All right? You can see, like, even the earth is mourning at the wickedness. I mean, they cut down every tree that they see and build concrete memorials that, that, that bring glory unto themselves. All right? They won't even let the earth be as it, as it wants to be. All right? They continue to pollute the air. All right? This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 24. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings. All right? European Union, NATO. NATO, that's the NATO and the European Union. Ten kings that shall arise, and, and the others shall rise after them. Uh -huh. And he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. All right, so, so, so America. The, uh, America was the diverse one, all right, because they followed after the ways of Rome also, all right, with, with the Senate and the uh, Democratic and Republican Party, all right? Right. And by putting hell on the children of Israel. Con, con, con. You know? Just like how Rome did. Yeah, who was that? Who was that that fought in the war? Spain? Spain, uh, the French. Uh, uh, and Britain. 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 So those are the three that he subdued. And he used Spain and France against Britain. So he, they never subdued Britain, but they caused Britain to uh, move from being a military faction into moving into being a financial faction. Sure. That's why Britain is basically the bank of the, the, bank of the world. Sure. That's why Britain is able to keep the gold, a billion dollars in gold, from uh, Venezuela right now. Because sure. they're, the, they're the world bank. Sure. All right? So it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, uh -huh. and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And he's been wearing us out for years, yeah, man. Wearing like us out through slavery, wearing out our mind through his philosophy, all right? Just be, like, pretty much trying to beat righteousness about him. And they shall think to change times and laws. And so he's changing times and laws. Now, our first um, homosexuality was tolerated. Now homosexual marriage is legal, all right? Now changing times, daylight savings time. All right, the uh, Sabbath is supposed to be according to the new moon. We go by a Gregorian calendar right now, a Roman calendar, all right? So we don't, we're not, we're not even, we don't, the, the, the day that you 
think it is, right, it's not act the actual day, all right, because in the Bible, it's day one, day two, all the way to day seven, all right, so these months and days are named after uh, pagan gods, right? Yeah, and, and the, the, first, the first calendar that uh, Julius Caesar made was in 46 uh, B.C., huh. and that's when they caused it to change to uh, uh, Anno Domino, Okay. and that's when you get to what you call today the Julian calendar. And America has been going by that ever since. And then you have the first cal calendar that Julius Caesar made, there were 445 days in it. So they had to add leap years and shit like that, you know? <laughs> and that's why you have uh, Pope Gregory, all right, the Gregorian calendar, he basically amended the calendar and adjusted that whole 445 days. Huh. So the calendar all messed up, man. And, uh, and Julius Caesar added in their pagan deities, such as Janus, all right, and so on and so on. Right. So it says, and, and, and America follows in that same footsteps. Right. Right. And they shall be given into his hand until a time, and a time, and the dividing of time. All right, and that time is almost up because what? He was loose out of his mountains, out of the bottomless pit. For a little season, but that season is coming to an end because we're being waking up to the truth. Right, it's going to be a regime change. Time. But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion mm. to consume and to destroy it until the end. Time. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven mm. shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. I, and, and, and who are the saints? And all dominions shall serve and obey him. So all these nations are going under slavery, all right, under servitude to the children of Israel. All right? All right? And who are the saints that it's talking about right there? All right? This is uh, Psalm uh, 148. I'm going to start at verse 13. It says, Let them praise the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So in order to praise the Most High, you have to know his true name. His name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right? Because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Holy Bible, man. The Most High's chosen people, man. All right, we need to turn our ways back to the Father, man. All right, before you perish with this destruction that's coming to America and the so-called white man these other nations. It says, for his name alone is excellent. His, his glory is above the earth and heaven. Huh. He also exalts the horn of his people, the praises, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. It says, even of the children of Israel, the people near unto him. The children of Israel are the only nation that's near unto him. He doesn't deal with any other nation. All right. Even after the even after the, um the kingdom, when the kingdom is set up, he's still not going to deal with any other nation. Precinct. You want to get to go to the, the Most High? You got to come to the children of Israel. All right. This is the Book of Sharon, chapter seventeen, verse seventeen. For in the divisions of the nations uh -huh. of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. So every nation have their own. Of, of spirituality, they're their own God, right? Keep going. But Israel is the Lord's portion. But the true God belongs, uh, um, um, the, His people are the Israelites. We belong to Him, all right? So if anybody wants to know anything about the Most High Yahweh, you have to come to the children of Israel because He only gives us, uh, He only lets us know His mystery, all right? Oh, my gosh. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. All right, because so at one point in time, the Most High was against us. Why? Because we wouldn't listen, man. We wanted to go after the fashions of this world. We seen what the other nations were doing, and we wanted to follow suit. We didn't want to follow behind the truth, man. But he's bringing us back into the truth. Keep going. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. And see, Chas was who we love. So he loves us so much, he set up the so-called white man to be our punishment for not, for not listening. All right? So what happens when, when, when your grandma used to beat you with a switch? She throws that switch away. All right? Pretty soon, Esau's going to be wasted away, thrown away, man. It says, therefore I will punish you for all, all your iniquities. All right, so he's punishing us for all of our iniquities, man. 
this is uh this is Colossus one and twenty six. Even Dimitri would have been hid from ages and from generations, but is now made manifest to his saints. All right, and we just explained who the saints were, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So those mysteries that were hidden for ages, everybody's trying to go find the uh, uh, Ark of the Covenant, the Dead Sea Scrolls. All right, even the, uh, the Romans opened up our book to try to get an understanding, and the Greeks tried to open up our book to get an understanding of, of, of what the true power was, because the whole world knew we had a true power. The true power, that's why they hid it from us. That's why they hid those names, Yahweh. So they know every time the children of Israel call upon Yahweh and Yahweh shot, the stuff starts to move. Shit starts happening. All right, verse 27, it says, To whom Yahweh would make known what is the riches of the glory of the mystery among the Gentiles, which is the Mashiach in you. All right. So basically, all, all the things are going to be made known unto us. All right, sorry, sorry I'm real quick. Sorry, go ahead. Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So if you have any pastor from another nation talking about they're professing the word of God, they're lying. All right, go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. All right, so in order, and you have to repent to enter into the kingdom. So if you don't have the laws, you cannot repent. All right? One more. He has not dealt so with any nation. He has not dealt with any other nation but the children of Israel. Pain, cut straight to the bone. And for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So they don't know his judgments when he show up. Okay. All right. This is Isaiah. Verse 51. Or 56. And 3. Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to Yahweh speak, saying, Yahweh have utterly separated me from his people. Mm-hmm. Gentiles. Yeah, kind of, so, so can none of these none of these Gentiles, these other nations, handle the word of the most high? That's talking about Israelites. That's that Gentiles. So, so America, um, a, a, a Jake that's walking around in America, they can't say, look how the Lord cut me off. Oh, right? By his own lust. A man, a person is led away by their own lust, by their own sins within them. All right? If you turn back and repent, the Lord will take you back as well and keep you from being a Gentile. All right? So with that in mind, I'm going to keep reading. Neither... Let the son of the stranger, talking about Israelites, that that have joined them joined himself to Yahweh, speak, saying, Yahweh have utterly separated me from his people. All right, that's right. What is it saying? Um, um, was it Malachi? Because you have no reason to be a dry tree because these scriptures are the water. All right? Verse 5. Even unto them will I give in mine house hmm. and within my walls, Jews and Gentiles, God. a place and a name better than of sons and daughters. All right, so that, that, that's when our, our people call themselves Greeks and Romans. And Paul went unto them and was saying, hey, I'm the apostle of the Gentiles, bring them back. The way, all right, bringing them, letting them know, hey, you, you know, you're not, you're not a Roman, you're not a Greek, you don't need to go by their custom. All right, turn your mind back to the Most High Yahweh, know your true heritage, know right. where you belong, come right. back into the house. Because what you'll find out is a lot of our people don't want to turn back to the Lord because they're mad at the Lord. Right. They're like, yo, why, why would you let us go through slavery like that? But they don't know that reincarnation is real, and they're living out their judgment from the past life. And that this is all to make us perfect in the end of days. Right. It's like a piece of gold, a piece of gold asking you why you separated it from the dust, from the earth. Put it back in the earth. Why you, why you beating on me and, and, uh, and, and putting fire to me? Gold is perfected in that way and purified. All right? And that's how the Lord looks at it, right. as, as gold out of the dust of the earth. All right, go ahead, brother.